Straw Family Farm. I'm Chrissy. Hey, Marge. Today is a bonus video, so this is posting on Sunday, which we normally don't post a video on Sunday. We don't. We don't. No. So, anyway, today we're going to talk about stuff that's going on here on the farm. So, if you're in our area, you are more than welcome to come join in. Come join the crazy. That's right. Uh, first off, we've got April 7th, which is what? Spring on the okay. farm. Spring on the farm. <laughs> it's our annual. Every year we open up the farm with a big hoopla. Kaboom! Yeah, quit shaking the table. Um. Anyway, Bang. this year we're not doing vendors, are we? I don't. I mean, she just said we're not, so no, we're not. We're not doing vendors. Um, what there will be? We'll give away free pins. No, we won't. Even yes. though this one's not from us. <laughs> that doesn't right either. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so you pay a dollar, you get in. Our pony rides are a dollar. Cups of feed for the animals are 25 cents. There'll be a full petting zoo in fling. There'll be some shearing. You'll be doing some shearing, right? Mm -hmm. We will have old-fashioned kinds of races. Um, there'll be the spoon and, and egg race, right? You can eat on that. Three-legged race. Well, I only got two legs. I can't Sack get in three-legged race. Oh, you tie two legs together. Like you and I could do it together. We tie a leg together. Somebody help me. I'm going to die. <laughs> and then, um, so there's three-legged race, the sack race, um, the old-fashioned spoon and egg race, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. There will be small prizes for that, and there's no cost to enter. Just saying. Um, Jane will be here doing a little spin-in, so there will be spinning wheels and wool. Yeah, we should do side pots so people can win money. No! Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? Make it more interesting. Could you see a bunch of parents chipping in a dollar and doing it? Make it way more entertaining. You're talking rodeo talk now. No, we're not going to do that. But there will be pony rides, just a day of fun, pack a picnic lunch, and come on. There won't be any food vendors. We'll have some bottled water and some little snacks on the table. Free that don't write. <laughs> um, and, of course, there will be, I, I'm hoping that maybe Julianne will come. It depends on their schedule and where they're going to be at. And the gold on. prize winner gets a penny That's that I found. You just took that out of my change on the table. You dork. All right, moving on. Maybe a man. We have three other things that go on, two go on every year. And the first is fireflies and stargazing. We open the farm up at night. And on June 1st at 7 o'clock, that's because I said at night, Oh. and we take the kids to parts of the farm that we normally don't let them go to. We go catch bugs. We go down by the pond. It's kind of a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Always. I, I've actually seen kids cry because they couldn't catch bugs. <laughs> Just saying. So bring your flashlights. There are no outdoor lights. Um, we have one up here by the house is a security light and other than that there's no light so we get here at seven make sure the kids eyes have time to adjust and then we take a trek at dusk down to the pond and then they come back it's jet black isn't it mm -hmm. and we have a lot of fun we catch fireflies and frogs and worms and we see tracks and all kinds of stuff huh uh -huh. and if you have a telescope feel free to come out bring it out set it up and check out the stars we've normally seen um there's shooting stars to be seen all the time if you're looking up all the time so um, when I say all the time I say oh I don't know a couple every week I don't know at least look up. yeah he didn't look up I love to look up so anyway that takes place June 1st at 7 o'clock um, now the grow tower will be put in place we're going to put it in place um, and we do it as a pizza tower so the kids can come out plant tomatoes on top and herbs all together and we'll have it all put together. I think I'm going to let the kids help us put it together this year um, now that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, it pin does too, right? See, it'd be a great gift for somebody. Anyway, that'll be May 26th at 10 o'clock. We'll meet out here and put up the pizza tower. Now, not a whole lot going on with that. The kids get to take some, um, what do you call it? Seeds and stuff home that they've planted. They get, you know, it's a whole planting thing. It takes about an hour um, at least. And then on September 1st, they can come out and harvest. And once they harvest, we cook the tomatoes, and I make what's called 10-minute pizza sauce, 
with the herbs that we've planted on the sides. And then I will have showed them how to milk the goat. They don't get to actually milk the goat on that day because it's kind of off topic. I will have already made some goat's milk cheese that we will put on top. And we will make a little pizza crust and make, um, I think last year we used those little Ritz crackers, you know, and put in the microwave. So we made our uh, pizza thing. And so it's called Harvest Day, Pizza Harvest Day. So welcome, come out and do that. That is September 1st at 10 o'clock, right? Um, if we get too crowded or we run out, if you planted, you take priority over those that just showed up on Harvest Day. Just saying. It's kind of our rule. Um, the Henny Penny thing. You don't work for it. You don't get to share in it. So um, just saying, if you come and harvest and, uh, I mean, plant, you're more apt to be included in the harvest. And you'll get an update on that email. The final thing is our big um, three-month camp. Sounds like a long time. It's not. You don't have to commit to that. It is the second Saturday of the month, right? Mm -hmm. Starting at 930. It's two hours long. You will receive a sample of wool, and you will take it all the way through over the course of three sessions, two hours apiece. We will teach you how to use it's the yarn. Sticker. Are we done now? Can we continue? Yeah. We'll teach you how to use the yarn. You'll wash the wool the first one, learn one simple way to use it and have a make and take project to go home. Then the next week you'll come back and you will prepare that fiber. It has to have time to dry, so it'll be on the drying rack with your name on it and stuff. <coughs> and then Ooh. RJ will be teaching um, how to braid a square braid and making friendship bracelets the next time as they learn to process their wool. And then the final time they'll receive a kit to make their drop spindle that they can take home with them along with their wool and we will teach them to spin. Correct? So those take place May, June, and July, the second Saturday of the month from 9.30 to 10.30. All these events can be found at our um, website. website on our happening page. So I will put a link in the description box below. So please like, subscribe, right? Oh, yeah. All day, every day. And we'll talk to you later. Peace Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.